So let's talk about ghost cases. Um, you know, for folks that may not know, talk a little bit about your interest and why you like to delve into these types of topics and subjects. Well, the, the nice thing about it, and we, we've talked in the past about UFOs. I know you have an interest in UFOs, yeah. too. Um, the paranormal in general, though, I've always found interesting because it, I think it speaks more to who we are than... I, I don't know if there's anything out there. I don't know if you, the aliens from Zeta Reticuli or, or ghosts or, or werewolves or whatever, but it, it, I think it speaks to the central question of all of us wander this earth and we're trying to find out, is this it? You know, like, do we, are we born? Do we live? Do we die? Is, is that it? And what the paranormal offers um, in all its various manifestations is an indication if you're aliens, we're not alone. If there's ghosts, maybe there is life after death. Um, so that, I think that speaks to everybody. And of all of them, ghosts are the most existential. Because to, a, to you know, if aliens are here, it's great, we're not alone. But if ghosts are real, it means, you know, when you breathe your last, when you're, when you're about to shuffle off this mortal coil, there's something else that might exist there beyond. So it's, it's I know there are some people who kind of poo-poo ghosts, but to me it's, it's a different way of looking at the same thing religion looks at, mm -hmm. which is, is there something beyond this for us? And, and that's what makes it interesting. I think that's why it speaks to so many people, why it has for so many centuries, the idea of ghosts. Um, because it says something about us. You know, it, it speaks to us about whether there's something after this for us. And I think everybody wants to know the answer to that question, even if they don't admit it. You know, when you're in, when you're in the film industry and you're doing film or projects about topics, a lot of times you're doing a topic because you were asked to do it or because it's kind of interesting. But sometimes when you find that project that you're so invested in emotionally and beyond the actual work of it, it takes on a whole other feeling. What's it been like for you working on this project where you kind of have this outside of work, this interest in what you're doing and what you're talking about? The, at the end of the day, um, we talk about, you know, is there anything beyond life? You realize your life is 60, 70, 80, 90 years, whatever it is. I'm probably more than halfway through. So you start to look at it and say, I don't want to do things that don't interest me. So if somebody comes to me and says, you know, do a show about, um, we're going to give you a lot of money to do a show about uh, business, it's great. Let somebody else do that. I, the only things I'll work on are the things that actually interest me that I find interesting. And so it's, it's a wonderful thing to be able to have the opportunity to do documentaries about UFOs or feature film or a television series now about ghosts. Um, I'd love to do a show about travel. You know, you go down and you find those things. That's how you create shows, or how you should create shows. You say, what interests me? Um, travel, ghosts, these various things. And uh, well, great, I'll find a way to do it. And I'll find somebody who'll let me put it on the air. Just got a couple minutes left in this segment, but uh, as you mentioned, Ghost Cases uh, is going to be on East Link TV. Besides what you've obviously mentioned, what can viewers expect watching the series from episode one to the end? They can expect that Holly is articulate and intelligent and focused, and then they can expect that I am cowardly <laughs> and uh, whiny, and as soon as, you know, a door blows shut or something, it's like, cut, I'm out of here. You know, it's, whoa, that must be, I'm spooked. And the weird thing is, I'm supposed to be the skeptic. So, and Holly's, she's not the believer, but she's, um, she has a solid science background, which I don't have. She has a biology degree. But um, she, she is more attuned sometimes to the the psychics or the, the, the witnesses, more of a people person. Me, I go off on my own, and I just freak myself out. <laughs> and so it's, it's kind of, you know, if you watch certain other ghost hunting shows, they're, they're all about the tech and everything and the lights and, oh, look at the bells and whistles on this machine. That, uh, who knows? And for us, it's, it, it's really, if, at the end of the day, you'll like ghosts, you'll like the show. If you like Holly and I, especially Holly, um, then you'll like the show. Uh, because it's really about a personal journey that two people take to see if there's something out there. And um, it's the kind of journey that anybody could take. A lot of the places we go to are open to the public. So that inn or that, uh, that old fort or whatever, you, you could walk in there and spend a night seeing if something happens to you. And the only difference is we did it with a camera crew. So when you would run out and go, bah, <laughs> nobody would ever know. When I run out and go, bah, you know, there's going to be thousands and thousands of people <laughs> that see me for the wuss that I am. Well, so. we'll talk more about that and uh, some other stuff with Paul Kimball right after this. You're watching Atlantic Filmmakers. <laughs>